Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Hiscock, and I'm the Director of Annual Giving here at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here to the School of Dentistry's annual White Coat Ceremony. Now, as you know, this tradition typically happens in person, and this monumental day is important. So pandemic or not, we still wanna commemorate this important day for the Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene class of 2021 and the Doctor of Dental Surgery class of 2022. We are thrilled to present this virtual program and we truly hope you enjoy it. To begin, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Mark Reynolds, the Dean of the University of Maryland School of Dentistry. Dr. Reynolds? Thank you, Mr. Hiscock. Welcome to the White Coat Ceremony. Today is a very exciting day. The White Coat Ceremony represents an important milestone along the journey from being a dental hygiene or a dental student to becoming members of the oral health profession. On this day, we welcome the members of the Dental Hygiene Class of 2021 and the Doctor of Dental Surgery Class of 2022 as they take the transformational step from classroom to clinic where they continue their professional development and direct patient care. These students represent the next generation of professionals who will dedicate their careers to providing oral health care to the residents of our state, nation, and beyond. To the students who are participating in the ceremony, welcome. You are joined virtually today by your families, friends, classmates, faculty and staff, alumni, and many distinguished members of our professional community. Over the past few years, you have become part of the rich tradition that defines the University of Maryland School of Dentistry, the world's first dental college. The white coat has traditionally been associated with healthcare, and today, with this ceremony, you become the newest members of our profession, joining us as colleagues and sharing in our responsibility for providing direct patient care. The white coat symbolizes the fundamental elements of professionalism, altruism, honor, respect, accountability, and excellence. The opportunity to provide health care is a privilege rather than a right, and as such we have been entrusted by society to hold ourselves to the highest ethical and moral standards. Over the past few months, your professors and peers have seen you exhibit these professional ideals in your clinical care. This year, in particular, you have also exhibited dedication and flexibility and resilience in a time of great uncertainty and change. When you received your white coat in preparation for the ceremony, you also received a note and a University of Maryland Baltimore lapel pen tucked into the pocket. Called Words of Wisdom, each note includes a message submitted by one of our alumni and bears good wishes and a warm welcome to our professional community. Later in the ceremony, several of our alumni and friends also will offer you words of wisdom, observations and advice presented in support of your entry into the oral health profession. Still other alumni and supporters of the School of Dentistry have generously offered a gift of sponsorship on behalf of this ceremony. I would like to express my gratitude to all our dedicated alumni and friends for their participation and support. In the months ahead, despite the constraints imposed by the pandemic, I urge those of you who have just received your white coats to take advantage of every opportunity to connect and interact with the members of the Alumni Association. They are truly dedicated to our school, to you, our students, and to our profession. I am especially proud of the many graduates who are celebrating the accomplishments of their sons, daughters, siblings, nieces, nephews, and others. Our University of Maryland School of Dentistry family continues to be strong, diverse, and impactful. We are honored to have you here with us today. I would also like to thank the many representatives from the School of Dentistry's leadership and faculty who are here also with us today. At this time, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Andrew Swiatowicz, who earned his Doctor of Dental Surgery degree from the School of Dentistry in 2010. Last spring, Dr. Swiatowicz was presented the 2020 Rising Dental Health Leader Award by the Alumni Association in recognition of his early career contributions to special care dentistry and lifelong learning. He operates a general dentistry practice located in Wilmington, Delaware, 
that is dedicated to the needs of medically compromised patients, including those with intellectual disabilities. He also runs a second practice dedicated to dental sleep medicine that is the first of its kind in Delaware. Additionally, Dr. Swiatowicz was integral in the development of Delaware's new adult dental Medicaid program and worked closely with the state to form a comprehensive program for patients. With the creation of this program, more than 100,000 previously underserved residents will have access to dental care. A believer in lifelong education, Dr. Swiatowicz earned fellowship in the Academy of General Dentistry in 2015. He also recently became a diplomate in the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Swiatowicz. Thank you, Dean Reynolds. Unprecedented. It's a word we hear a lot in 2020. From pandemics to elections, it carries the weight of despair, hopelessness, and even fear. We use it to convey how trying these times are and how we just don't know what will happen next. But what if we changed the way we think about this word? After all, unprecedented only means without instance or never before known or experienced. Nothing about that definition implies negativity. We add that value to the word. So what if we began to use unprecedented in, well, an unprecedented way? The way in which all of you will learn is going to look drastically different from when I was here. Your classroom and clinical education will be adapted to a changing world. And when the world changes, it rarely reverts back to its previous form. You are all better prepared than the rest of us to change with and thrive in this environment when it comes to learning. It gives you an unprecedented advantage over those who came before you. As you dive into the clinical world, of dentistry and dental hygiene, you may feel that these are unprecedented times in providing patient care. However, as healthcare providers, it is important to realize that this is not the first time, nor will it be the last, in which we encounter new or evolving diseases. Think back to the HIV AIDS outbreak of the 80s. The landscape of healthcare and infection control was changed almost overnight. As a profession, we improve the way we safely treat patients, protecting them and ourselves from not just one disease, but countless more. This is a chance to be part of a profession that will create a safer environment for receiving dental care. And maybe it's not so unprecedented after all. 2020 has also given us an unprecedented opportunity to expand the reach of dentistry. Through the use of telehealth technologies, we have been able to triage, screen, and consult with patients on their dental problems. In my practice, I've even delivered oral appliances for managing sleep apnea via telehealth. While the technology has existed for years in other fields, dentistry has begun to find a more regular place in our practice for it. Hygienists and dentists have previously been expanding access to care through teledentistry, and I see it continuing to grow throughout all of our careers. So while there may be unprecedented aspects of our profession right now, there are many constants too. Dentistry and dental hygiene have always been about helping people obtain not just optimal oral health, but total health. This has not suddenly changed. As you enter the clinics, you begin a journey where you can help improve someone's physical, emotional, and overall health. The interactions you have with each of your patients can be life-changing and in some circumstances, life-saving. Always remember that at the heart of what you do, your focus is on health. Our profession has always been about continuing education your careers, by their very nature, make you a lifelong learner. I remember 10 years ago at my graduation, standing on stage talking about how you practice dentistry. 
By saying that we practice, we acknowledge that we can always learn more to improve. As you practice dentistry and dental hygiene in school, you will hone your clinical skills, but remember, those will be changing as your career progresses. So use this opportunity to also learn the non-clinical sides of dentistry. Learn how to put patients at ease when their odontophobia kicks in, and it will. Practice clear, concise communication daily. Become a master at time management now, because you do not want to wait to learn any of these skills when you are thrust out into the real world. Our responsible to help vulnerable populations has not changed during this time either. The unique skill sets that you all are developing can be used to expand access and provide dental care to those who need it most. Throughout my career, I've seen firsthand how dentists have been able to mobilize and serve others. In my opinion, we are better at that than any other healthcare providers. You will find unique ways to help others and it will shape you professionally and personally. All of you are at an exciting crossroad right now. The path ahead will present you with obstacles that you have not encountered before, but you are all well equipped to make the journey. Use your knowledge, your faculty, and each other to help you along the way. Stay focused, but make sure to take time to enjoy life. And most importantly, become unprecedented yourself. Congratulations on the next step of your careers. I look forward to having all of you as colleagues. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Swiatowicz, for your heartfelt remarks. And thank you, Dean Reynolds. At this time, I'd like to mention a new initiative special for this year. For the first time, the School of Dentistry offered alumni and friends the opportunity to sponsor a white coat for a student, taking an active role in this year's ceremony. My thanks to all of the alumni, friends of the university, faculty, staff, parents, and donors who generously made a contribution as a white coat sponsor. I especially want to thank our corporate sponsor for this year's ceremony, Ben Eyre. Thank you all so much for your support of the School of Dentistry and our white coat ceremony. And now, I'm happy to introduce the members of the Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene class of 2021 and the Doctor of Dental Surgery class of 2022. Camilia Abiane. Shamim Azad Gian Linda Choi Haley Marie Ebway Rachel Mells Miriam Nabel Zara Nabel
Kathleen Fabian. Lindsay Aaron Sight. Kelly Ann Smith. Delina Trent. Carly Leanne Wood. Callie Lynn Robertson. Darian Anderson. Sarah Arafat. Anuradha Balagan. Daria Barshark. Imari Mariana Bell. Moshe Berger. Kendra Bloom. Lauren Blum. Alyssa Bonomo. Shira Bohr. Manny Briseno. Benjamin Ascoeda Brigoli. Alicia Briscoe. Alina Bowie. Thomas Cahill. Prachi Chuda. Emily Chen. Daniel Chu. J.P. Cholik. Kevin Stephen Clive Sarah Nia Coleman Christopher D. Cruz Ashley Agnini Dale Jack Davidson the third Alec de Fabrique Glare O Delancey Amit Danda Corey A. Dixon Nicholas Doe Katie Donovan Adobe S. Eguagu Neo Ehiwi Diana El Halawani
Omar Al Sayed. Josh Englander. Ariana Atasami. Frederick Joseph Flanagan Jr. Jesley Pundora. Troy David Ramsky. Anthony John Garolis. Ilana Goldberg. Lauren E. Gritzer. Jia Hui Gu. Lisa Hart. Rabia Hassan. Denise Henry. Kelsey Nicole Hicks Denise R. Hidan Eric Huang Jake Hyatt Adil Ibrahim Paige Joblon Hagyung Jane Jonathan Jane Victoria L. Janice Jessica Jane Caroline Jin Jonathan Jernet Sam Casseray Danielle Joy Kerr Alicia Khan Naima McKenna Kiburi Donald Q. Martin Kim. Matthew Kim. Adrian Kramer. Julia Kuznick AJ Layton Tree Lee Alex Lee Josh Lee Sam D. Lee Juan J. Lee Lee 
Young In Lee. Robert Leonard. Benjamin M. Levinson. Timothy Liu. Matthew Lopez. Juan Loyola. Kathleen Liu. Marie C. Mayer. Diana Bell C. Maldonado. Alana Shanae Martinez. Justin Maxwell. Tamison Megason. Yonatan Merzadi. Megan Mayer. Umar Haroon Mian. Claire McClot. Zach Miller. Colin Mueller. Magd Nagib. Kaylee M. Nguyen. Tristan Nguyen. Vero Nika. Brian Yongjin Pak. Asta Parik. Yesenia Elizabeth Paragiri. Dara P. Persana. Shivang Patel. Gregory Poku Dankwa. Malika Ramani. Ashley E. Reed. Kash Ayar Rasapar. Kelsey Wren. Sung Jun Joshua Ri. Whitney A. Richards. Lisa Wright. Zachariah Adam Salhan. Ariel Samuels. Avital Schaefer. Victoria Emilia Serafin. Shrey Shah.
Stephanie Smith. Huiyan Sun. Corey Sparks. Marissa Stewart. Fariha Syed. Estelle Tachago. Anj Lidi Chuaga. Amir Reza Tofik Baksh. Brian Tran. Thomas Tran. Alexander Zomedes. Arjun Vaidyanathan. Jennifer Valdez. Andrea Valencia. Alex Wickham. Elizabeth Wilcox. Howard Liu. Hope Yoon. Bo Shang. Jason Shang. Doctor of Dental Surgery, Class President, Class of 2022, Captain Jasmine Jones. Every year, students recite the professional oath. I would now like to introduce Dr. Patricia Meehan, Associate Dean of Academic Affairs here at the School of Dentistry, who will introduce the students as they recite the oath as a class. Thank you, Mr. Hiscock. Students, today we acknowledge your accomplishments thus far and recognize your dedication to the profession. Now it is your turn to formally acknowledge your responsibilities and your willingness to assume the obligations of your profession. Being admitted to the profession of dental hygiene, I pledge myself to the service of humanity, my patients, my community, and my profession. Being admitted to the profession of dentistry. I pledge myself to the service of humanity, my patients, my community, and my profession. The health and well-being of my patients will be my first consideration. I will uphold the highest standards of care for my patients and hold in confidence all they entrust to me. I will promote the welfare of my community by speaking out against injustice and providing unbiased service to those in need. I will strive to merit the trust that society has placed in my profession faithfully observe our profession principles of ethics and integrity maintain the highest standards of personal and professional behavior 
Anne. Encourage. My. Colleagues. To. Do. The. Same. I'm indebted to my teachers. And I pledge to improve my skills. Through a commitment to continuous learning. I promise to maintain my own well-being. And assist my colleagues to do the same. I take this oath freely and upon my honor. Congratulations. Now I would like to invite dental hygiene and dental faculty mentors to share their reflections of what the oath means to them. Congratulations, dental hygiene class of 2021 for reaching this milestone in your education, transitioning from your junior clinical year to your senior year. The professional oath means that I have made the conscious choice to serve my patients and the community with the skills and knowledge that I've learned across my career. When the words of this oath become integrated into your daily practice, it isn't something that you'll have to memorize or even review. It'll become your guiding principles. I strive to be an advocate for my patients and my community and increase people's knowledge about health. I aim to provide services that will promote health and prevent disease for all people without bias or discrimination. Me, the oath made me realize how I wanted to focus my career and laid the foundation. To better serve my community, I aim to provide unbiased service to those in need. As I continue my career, I continue to uphold the oath by continuously learning to become a better hygienist. I will strive to merit the trust the society has placed in my profession, faithfully observe our profession's principles of ethics and integrity, maintain the highest standards of personal and professional behavior, and encourage my colleagues to do the same. These elusive qualities are taught to us by our families, like kindness, caring, and compassion, how to act morally and ethically, to follow the golden rule. I thank your families for teaching you these important principles. Being a healthcare provider is a very powerful thing. It is a professional who takes the most up-to-date information on health, oral health, and disseminates that to patients, communities, the best way we know how effectively to increase oral health overall health and quality of life. Congratulations and welcome to our profession. On behalf of the Department of General Dentistry and the GP directors, we would like to offer the students a warm welcome into clinic by presenting a reading of the oath interspersed by commentary that faculty members have written, which is pertinent to the ideals in the oath based upon their experience. I will begin this presentation by initiating the reading of the oath. Being admitted to the profession of dentistry, I pledge myself to the service of humanity. Like the Helping Up mission, where through a generous grant, you will have the opportunity to perform comprehensive dental care for men and women fighting addiction and homelessness. Improving their self-esteem through dentistry contributes to their recovery and helps these individuals gain their lives back. My patients. Like the Program for Domestic Violence Survivors, where dental students treat women at risk to help in their recovery by providing them with an aesthetically pleasing smile. My community. Like the Mission of Mercy, an entire school-wide effort to help Baltimore's homeless and indigent population get some badly needed pro bono emergency dental care. And my profession. Personal and professional growth requires an association with colleagues join or organize study clubs, join and participate in dental societies. The health and well-being of my patients will be my first consideration. I will uphold the highest standards of care for my patients and holding confidence all they entrust to me. Patients will assume you can properly perform your tasks, but they depend on you to be honest as to your abilities and give advice that is in their best interest and not yours. I will promote the welfare of my community by speaking out against injustice and providing unbiased service to those in need. I will not prejudge a patient's ability to afford the ideal treatment based on their appearance. 
I will strive to merit the trust that society has placed in my profession. My infection control and OSHA compliance will be exemplary. Faithfully observe our profession's principles of ethics and integrity. Following the ADE principles of ethics with autonomy, as in informed consent, beneficence, do good, non-malfeasance, do no harm, justice, do what's fair and right, and veracity, telling the truth. Maintain the highest standards of personal and professional behavior. It is easy to tell a patient that everything went well in a procedure. The test of the ethical dentist is to look the patient in the eye and tell them when things did not go as well as planned. And encourage my colleagues to do the same. I am indebted to my teachers and I pledge to improve my skills through a commitment to continuous learning. The more I live, the more I learn. The more I learn, the more I realize, the less I know. We need to continue learning our entire career and never stay in our own little bubble. There is so much to learn that we cannot possibly teach you all that you need to know while you are here, but we are giving you the tools to start that journey of service and professional growth. Seek out new teachers and share your knowledge with others. I promise to maintain my own well-being and assist my colleagues to do the same. Dentistry is a very fulfilling profession but if that's all you do, you will burn out and become unhappy. Take the time for family, friends, hobbies, and relaxation, and you will truly have a wonderful career. I take, I take this oath freely on, on my honor. honor. We have a special tradition at the School of Dentistry. Every year, alumni write brief notes for our students called words of wisdom, and they're placed in the pockets of all of our white coats. Well, this year, we've continued the tradition, and we've also expanded it. We're recognizing this heartfelt gesture by inviting a few special guests to record their words of wisdom for everyone to hear. We hope that you enjoy these remarks. Words of wisdom for the dental hygiene class of 2021. Take care of yourself, because if you don't, you can't take the very best care of anyone else. Always err in favor of your patient and take every opportunity that you can to learn, even if you're busy, even if you're tired. And if the opportunity never knocks, then cut a hole in the wall and make your own door and go find that opportunity, make that opportunity for yourself. You're a driven, hardworking group and you're considerate and creative and kind. I see what you are and I can't wait to see what you're going to be. Congratulations. Class of 2021, it's an honor to be your teacher. I offer you the following words of wisdom. Stop and count your blessings. I thank God for my family first. I also thank him for my career. Dental hygiene has given me a sense of pride and independence, and it gave me a purpose. In general, it's given me more than I ever dreamed possible. But remember that money isn't everything, and it can't buy you happiness. Please don't waste your time working in an office that doesn't appreciate or respect you, no matter how much they're willing to pay you or how desperate you are to pay back your student loans. Lastly, balance your professional life and your personal life. You hold the key to your happiness. So don't take a passive role, make your own happiness. My greatest professional joy has been teaching others and knowing that I have played a role in making their lives better. Funny thing, it seems the more I give, the more I get in return. Wear your coat proudly. You've earned the privilege. Welcome to the profession. Hi, dental hygiene students. I'm so honored to be with you today to share a few words of wisdom as you enter the clinical setting with your very own patients. As you're working in the clinic to develop those clinical skills, your instrumentation skills, your assessment skills, and you're working through the details of the step-by-step -step procedures that are involved in clinical patient care. Remember that it's also extremely important to work on developing the skills around becoming an empathetic and compassionate healthcare professional. It's important to pull your chair around and look your patient in the eye and listen to them 
ask them questions about what they value, what they feel is important, how they feel about a certain procedure being done or how they feel about something that's going on within their mouth. Your goal is to empower them to take charge of their own health. And you can do that by building relationships with them and by listening to what their own needs and values are. So I encourage you to work on those skills just as much as you work on your clinical skills. And the alumni board is here to support you in any way that you need. You can feel free to reach out at any time and we wish you all the very best in your clinical experience. Hi guys, my name is Marissa Rushing and I was class president of the dental hygiene class of 2019. Two days after graduation, I moved down to Texas and I've been working as a dental hygienist ever since. Now, since the pandemic hit, it has been hard at times to remember why we do what we do. And I just wanna take this chance to encourage you guys. This oath you're making today, keep it close to your hearts. It will help remind you why you chose this profession. Remember that we are not just tooth cleaners, we are licensed healthcare professionals. We strive towards happier and healthier smiles, and we improve the quality of our patients' lives. I'm so excited for you guys to be my future colleagues, and congratulations on your white coat ceremony. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Brittany Bergeron and I graduated from the University of Maryland Dental School in 2013. I'm very excited to be participating in this event as part of your white coat ceremony. Uh, wishing it was in person, but I guess everything is, is virtual now, so we're doing the best we can. Um, so proud of you all for reaching this transition point from the classroom into clinic. It's a, it's a very exciting time. Um, with that excitement, of course, comes great responsibility, a responsibility to act ethically, to provide the best care possible for your patients, and to maintain your education as you go through your, your dental school curriculum and also through your career as a dental provider. Um, There's so many great opportunities to, to help your patients and your communities, um, and I'm sure you're all going to really excel at that. So congratulations and best of luck in the future. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Alina Monet, and I graduated from the University of Maryland School of Dentistry in 2019. I am so happy to be speaking to you all today, even virtually. I remember the first time I donned my white coat, and this time is no different. And I want you to never forget that moment and never take this moment lightly. Because every time you walk into a room, a patient is putting their full trust in you, no matter whether you're wearing a white coat, a blue coat, or any color coat. So I want you to do your very best, take this education, and be great. And also, remember to kill people with kindness, because kindness in this field goes a very long way. So use those tokens, Go forth, do great things, and I believe in you all. And I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful white coat ceremony. I wish I could be there. See you soon. I asked my daughter, do you have any tips on delivering one minute speech? What wise words could I possibly say to the class of 2022 for their white coat ceremony with how our education and lives been so profoundly affected this year? Do I point out the obvious, how important it is, especially now, to uphold our oath to keep our patients from harm and wrong? Not to be ashamed to say, I don't have answers to your problems, but I'll do my best to find them, to remember and be grateful for our humble beginnings, and to be professional and kind to our patients, peers, mentors, so we can grow together and lead ourselves from crisis like the one we are in right now. And she simply smiled. Congratulations on the milestone of receiving your white coat. This marks the beginning of your full commitment to becoming a compassionate and empathetic healthcare provider. My words to you will be framed around the verse, to whom much is given, much is expected. We are all very privileged to have the opportunity to advance the oral health and improve the lives of our patients. And with that, I'd like to share with you two stories about patients I've treated while I was in dental school. The first was a young, young lady that came to me that had only been seen for emergency care. So when she got to me, she only had her lower anterior teeth left. So she needed an upper denture and a lower partial. And her job, she said to me, was to get this work done so that she could go back to school graduate from college and get a better job. So our dental appointments were 
her bringing in her work, her schoolwork that I would help her with, while I did my job of creating her upper denture and her lower partial. Fast forward three years, I come back to Baltimore. I'm at the graduation ceremony for a friend of mine, and there's my patient getting her degree. I was incredibly proud of her and all the work that she had, actually, had obviously put in to get to this point, but I was even prouder that she still had in the denture that I had created for her. The second was a patient that I saw, a young lady that was in high school. She came in, didn't have much work to be done, but we, you know, talked through the appointments. I shared with her some of my life stories and she shared with me, you know, the trials of being a high school student. On our very last appointment together, her mom pulled me to the side and said, I need to thank you. And I said, you're welcome. It was my pleasure to get your daughter's care done um, in a expeditious way. And her mom said, no, I wanna thank you for being such a great role model. And I remember thinking to myself that day, I can't be a role model, I'm 26. Who's looking up to me? But what I realize is that our patients really do look up to us. They trust us. Um, they realize that we are trying to provide for them the best care that we possibly can. So I say to you, remember this when you treat your patients. Every patient that you treat looks up to you. They respect you. And for, for you, I want you to provide for them the absolute best care that you're capable of. So with that, I say congratulations on this milestone. Stay safe. And I wish you all the very best. Congratulations on making it to clinic. Two years down, two to go, and you'll be graduating before you know it. Clinic is your opportunity to soak up everything you can from the faculty while you're under their wings, so schedule as many patients as you possibly can. Congratulations, well done, you've got this, hang in there. Right now you look around and you see each other as classmates, but very soon you will be colleagues and we'll be proud to call you colleagues as well. When you graduate, remember to look up your state, your local dental associations, and join us because we're excited and we're waiting for you. And I am so proud of you guys. Congratulations and hang in there. Vanessa Benevent, DDS09. Hello class of 2022. I hope each one of you is bursting inside right now. You should all be singing. Hey, look, my baby. I have no doubt that every one of you has had a tortuous journey to get here. And that's how it usually is to climb your way to the top. About five years ago, the University of Michigan did a study that compared doctors who wore white coats to doctors who just wore business attire. And it turns out that those who wore the white coat were perceived as more knowledgeable, more trustworthy, more caring, and more approachable. When you leave University of Maryland in a couple years, you will go out into the community and you will be the pillar of those values out there. I assure you, there is no better feeling than being able to help someone who truly needs your skills. And you have earned that ability. I wanna congratulate each and every one of you for being here again today. I hope you all treasure this day just as I did a long time ago. And lastly, Thank you. I extend my deepest appreciation to each of you for sharing these words of wisdom with us. This concludes our ceremony. Again, I want to express our gratitude to each of you for taking part in the 2020 White Coat Ceremony. Thank you for supporting and helping celebrate this very important event. Congratulations, students. Our best wishes to each of you on your future successes.